We're staying in the most famous hotel in Phuket, Thailand. This is the memory at On On Hotel. Let's go have a look inside. So the reason this place is so famous is it's where they shot the movie The Beach. You know the one with Leonardo DiCaprio? This is where Leonardo DiCaprio stays, in this hotel right behind us. We're staying in the same hotel as Leo. We'll go inside, we'll show you around, we'll show you what the rooms are like. Let's go and explore. So this was actually the first hotel in all of Phuket, Thailand. It was built in 1927 and it used to be called the An An Hotel. So when lots of people started immigrating to Phuket, they changed the name to On On so it was easier to remember. So the On On actually used to be a backpackers. Apparently it used to cost less than one baht per night. A few years ago they fixed the whole place up and now it's really beautiful inside and out. What I really love is they've decorated the hotel with lots of different antiques. So you still have that ode to its past in the 1920s. It's really cool. It's such a great little touch. There's so many cool places to sit in the lobby. I'm not sure whether you can hear it or not, but there's some beautiful piano music playing right now. It's such a wide open space in here, and there are so many plants everywhere you look. It's a really lovely atmosphere. There's a really beautiful old guest book here. I was looking for Leo's signature, but it only goes back to 2014. So this is the reception. It's a really beautiful space. We've got the reception desk right behind me and we've got two very, very grand staircases. What I really love is the reception backs onto a courtyard and it's so tranquil. You can even hear the sounds of a rushing fountain. I'll show you that soon, but first let's go up one of the staircases and see what's up there. One of the most impressive things here are the Sino Portuguese windows. Just look at the shape, they're so beautiful and I love that shade of baby blue. So upstairs is kind of like a community space. You've got lots of chairs and tables, places to sit down. Right through here we've got a little miniature library as well. It's really nice, there are loads of places you can just hang out and relax. So here's the little mini library. I think the idea is you borrow a book and you put another one back. I love it when hotels do this. It's such a good way to find a new holiday read. So this is a big communal dining space and that's about it for up here. Now I'm gonna take you downstairs, I'll show you that courtyard, and then I'll take you up to our room. This is the courtyard. This is one of my favorite parts of the entire hotel. You can probably hear the running water of the fountains. We've got two, one over there and one behind me. It's such a tranquil space. It's so calming and there are lots of places to sit so you can just take it all in. This is another lovely little touch. It's a street food cart in the hotel. They've got little carnation condensed milk cans, which if you've been to Thailand, probably know what that is. And there are also little bales which you use to make bagel tea. We've had a look at the courtyard, now I'll show you the reception. The desk at reception is absolutely massive. It has really nice Sino Portuguese inspired architecture about it, lots of lovely little arches, and I love the bit at the back, which has all the room numbers. It just looks like it's come straight out of the 1920s. It's so cool. I really love the way that the walls in the reception are lined with old clocks and portraits. It's such a lovely touch. This one's a picture of the On On Hotel back in the day. It looks like you used to be able to drive scooters right down the middle of it. How crazy is that? Another really cool thing about the On On is that you can buy your own drinks here. They have a fridge right here and you can just choose what you want, bring it to the reception and take it up to your room. Okay, let's go upstairs and I'll show you our room. It's 
There are so many beautiful bright pops of color. I love this whole bit over here. It's the most majestic blue. It's so bold and so beautiful. This is another really nice communal space. You could bring your laptop up here and do some work or just bring a book and do some reading. And in this part of the hotel, they have the most beautiful kind of china on display. It's really lovely. Before I show you our room, first I have to show you this one. This is the most famous room in the whole hotel. This is Leonardo DiCaprio's room in the beach. I think just down this corridor was where the old woman was mopping the walls, but she's not here today. Welcome to room 209. Come on in. So this is our room for the next two nights. As you can see, it's kind of small, but it's really, really lovely. It's a little bit different to how it looked in the beach. Like in the movie, there are the little gaps up the top, you know, where Daffy talks to Leo, like through the gap. So they're not there anymore, which is quite good because it's a lot more soundproof. So this place used to be a backpackers and obviously it's been way more fixed up now. They've still kept the Sino Portuguese influence through the art and just through some small details. You can see up the top on the windows there, we've still got those beautiful arches, which you've seen in the beach movie as well. So they've even chosen artwork for the room that really reflects its Chinese heritage. We've got these amazing paintings right behind the bed. And on the other wall, there's this calligraphy set. It has little bottles of ink in it. It's got things to make wax with. It's just so cool. Cool. So a few other things have changed here since they filmed the beach. There's no smoking in the rooms and actually the whole property is completely smoke free. So in this part of the room we've got a wardrobe, we've got a TV and we've got a fridge. And the fridge even came fully stocked. One other thing I really love about this part of the room is the banker's lamp. I just think these things are so cool. It really fits the vibe of the room. Another thing that's changed in the hotel is the rooms have been completely modernized. Now we've got aircon. You're really going to need it in the Phuket heat, trust me. And this is the bathroom. One of my favorite details in the entire room are these little doorknobs. They remind me of tiny little mangosteens. They're so cute. There are so many beautiful things in the bathroom. Like, look at this sink. It's such an amazing color and it's even more incredible on the inside. I've also got a beautiful lamp right above me. The edges are kind of a little bit scalloped and it just fits the overall vibe of the room so well. And we've got a huge bathroom. Seriously, this thing is absolutely massive. We've also got a rainfall shower head. It's so cool in here. And there's one more thing I really want to show you. Wait, what's that? I think it's a map. Does anyone know where this goes? Well, we'll come back to this later. Now I'm going to give you my final thoughts on the room. We've had such a great time staying here. It's been really nice staying in old Phuket town and staying in such an important historical building. We found the beds really comfy, the rooms are really nice temperature, the bathroom's really good. This place has a three star rating, but to be honest, we'd probably put it closer to four stars. It's just been a really great experience. We paid about 900 baht per night. We literally stayed in a filming location of one of the biggest movies ever. When else could you stay on a filming location for 900 baht? I hope you enjoyed seeing the hotel with me. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one.